Hey everyone. Um, oh, <laughs> that was a crap, crap wave, wasn't it? What a div. Right, I've got an empties video for you, um, and it should be quite a quick one. I say a quick one. I've got quite a few products here. Um, I'll just sort of show me a little bag. Uh, I try. I want to do like less products, more review. So, oh, hold on. There you go. You've got a little. So we'll start with the first two, which are always in my empties. I always say it, but I like to show them because I'm trying to try out different products and they're just not as good. So this is the Gorgeous Curls Curl Taming Cream by Naked Style. You find this in Boots. It's about £4.97. However, I got it on a place called Poundshop.com for a pound, obviously. Um, and I wish that I'd got more. I got 10, actually, and I wish I'd got even more than that because... Uh, just such good value to get nearly five bottles for the price of just one in boots is ridiculous um, and they do last me a while because I don't as you can see my hair's up now I try and only do my hair style it every few days which means I've only really washed it every week or so so yeah this is a brilliant product I find that when I put it in my hair I use quite a lot of it but when I put it in my hair and I leave it to dry this helps to keep it set but not crunchy and the curls if you've seen any of my videos this is what i'm using so i really love this product and i've got a few more so hopefully it won't be too much uh, of a problem to kind of um i definitely will be repurchasing sorry what am i talking about i've just done a video over on my life channel you'll see it. it's it's kind of thrown me into a tears it was a bit um it was a little bit sentimental, you'll see. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, love this product, or product, <laughs> always repurchase, and always will. The other product that I love, and I was terrified this month, I couldn't see it um, in boots, and I was able to order it online, but if they got rid of this, I just don't know what I'd do. And this is the Curl Definer Smooth Waves Taming Spray. Um, it's by Charles Worthington, it's the salon at home, and it's in this lovely green sort of teal bottle. It says smooth curl definition, frizz defiance for up to 18 hours and indulgement, indulgent nourishment. It does all of those things. If you put it on to, so I put it on after like a serum or something, um, and I put it on before the curl cream. It's weird that I do it that way, but I, I love doing it that way, sort of holding it in. I don't really know if this is meant to be, no, this is just for curl hair, curly hair. It's a leave-in spray. It is so good. I love this product and I've bought another three because it's three for two at Boots. Love it. And it lasts me quite a while, actually. Um, staying with hair care, something I've finished. Now, I only buy this once every two or three months. It's five pounds and it's the Osmo Colour Save Shampoo Sulfate Free Shampoo. And this is a really... I quite like the scent of it. It's quite... Um, clean smelling. I do quite like the scent of it. It's quite strong though. Um, it's a really good um, shampoo for curly hair because it's sulfate free. I use not much. It doesn't lather very well because it's sulfate free, but I don't mind that. Um, I, I can just get it to lather a little bit and wash it out. I use a lot more conditioner. I use about three conditioners to one of these and they're big bottles as well. Um, but I do like this and I will definitely be repurchasing it once I get a chance to. I haven't washed my hair in ages now because I haven't had it. Um, the other empty is this Herbal Essences Ignite My Colour. This was actually from a pound shop. It's, how many mils is this one? 400 mils, quite a big bottle. This has got a lovely scent. Um, I've got the original one again. Do you remember the old bottles, like the pink bottle with a, a green lid so and it stood upright rather than stood down i've repurchased that but it used to be a lot thicker it's not as thick anymore and this is a really thick one um i do like this one but it's not my favorite ever conditioner um actually i have an osmo hair mask that i was using which is i've, I've had another empties video and that was incredible which i'm really looking to repurchase that so um this was it was good but it wasn't my favourite and I probably won't be repurchasing it in a hurry but if I really needed something for a pound I don't mind doing that. Um, I've got these two, this one's still sort of full, I have used one application out of it and this one is empty and I got these in a magazine just to try them out, they're the 
Saint-Tropez in shower gradual tan. I have reviewed these and they are, I'll leave the link below actually because I will mention all the products and do links. I wasn't very happy with these. You'll see that this was a flop and not a fab in my fab or flop review and I will not be repurchasing at all. Um, it did not work on me. One thing I hopefully will be repurchasing, but they don't do it in my one, is this Primark PS Love Your Hair Defining Twist It Curl It Balm. I did a review on this. The scent is incredible. It was two, uh, £1.50, it says it up there. I've got to repurchase this. It's, it was really good to put on prior to the curl spray and the curl cream. I really, really liked this, more for the scent, to be honest, but it has a good um, definition um, sort of uh, quality to it and I've done a review of this as well so I'll put the link below excellent love this and they don't do it in my Primark at the moment so I'll have to go to a bigger one but I really really love that um, <clears throat> I have finished there's a couple of there's actually three things in here from my um, finish eight by Bonfire and I, I will show you them because you might not watch all of my videos the first one is the by Terry um, Balm de Rose Crystal it's called because it's in the tube that is all finished I cannot get that tiny bit out at the bottom I don't know how to do it this is a lip balm and it was something like £32 which is just ridiculous and I have to say yes it's really good and it was in my favourites and I used it every single night and I did notice a difference because it wasn't like a normal lip balm it's got a very strong scent of rose it is a very strong scent of rose but um i wouldn't repurchase it because unless this was given to me as a gift there's no way i'd repurchase it 32 pounds is a stupid amount for a, a, an overnight lip balm but it is in, it is good but it's not wow it's not like the best product in the world so yes good and i have finished it because i wanted to get it finished by the uh 5th of november and I will talk about it a little bit more, but I won't be repurchasing. Something that's really exciting and is in my um, finished 8 by Bonfire Night is the colour tattoo by Maybelline in pink gold. And there you go. It's all gone. I have finished it. I've never finished anything like this before, but I love this. And um, I've got a few more pots of colour tattoos to get through. I'm actually wearing one of my eyes at the moment and it's in my favourites. I love this and I definitely, definitely will be repurchasing it. It's the best eye base I've ever used, especially for under shimmers. Not so much for under mattes, but it's a really good eye base. If you've never used one of them, this I would highly recommend this as an eye base. I use a sponge tip applicator you know the ones that everybody gets in their palettes and throws them away i use those to use with these because it's easier than using your finger love it <coughs> and that's going in my finish eight or obviously update and the other thing that was in that as well was this um embryolis let me just open it up the embryolis uh lay creme concentrate and this was my um it, it's a kind of a double doubles up as a moisturizer and a primer for um, makeup this is really 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 good and it's about 20 pound well not for this size this is 30 mils i don't think it's 20 mils for this size but for a larger size it's it's 20 pounds and i loved this and i'm using something that's meant to be the same but i don't find it sets my makeup as well i think this one really was incredible and I think there's a, <clears throat> quite a lot of reviews, but this is great and I'm definitely going to repurchase it once I've used the others. <coughs> Excuse me. Something I'm not repurchasing is the Be, Be Nourished Advanced Serum. I used this as a nighttime serum, but I think it may have had alcohol in it and it used to really sting. I did finish it up, it's all gone, but you know, for, the, for how much it was, I probably won't repurchase it. I'm not saying it's wrong. It just really, it was it was a bit stingy and I didn't enjoy that about it. And I don't know if it made any difference to my skin whatsoever. So um, I'm not gonna repurchase, I'm not that mad. It, it didn't, it, again, it wasn't a wow product. 
And another unwell product was the Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. This is no different to the High Definition Powder by LA Girl, um, which you can get on Beauty Crowd. This was just a tester and it literally is the same. Oh, Rupert's going mad. Um, I, I just didn't think it was amazing. So that's, again, something I'm not going to be repurchasing. My final two products. <clears throat> the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life, the Ultimate Super Smoothing Body Buffer. This is a, what does it say? Amazing Moisture Foam Formula. This is really good. I love the scent of it. It's in the original. Oh, I love the scent of this. The Just Pink set, I think, has got scent. Um, I have to say, this was, I think, just a, a, a little test, not a tester, like a travel size. And I loved it. I really did enjoy using it. I liked it as an in-shower one rather than using the pots, which I use in the bath. And this is really lovely. And if I use the um, Righteous, not the Righteous Butter. Yeah, the Righteous Butter. I use that as a skin moisturiser. I love that. I feel soft. Even though they've changed the formula, um, <clears throat> still love that. So, and it's the same scent and this is just lovely. So I really like that. It's a little in-shower treat. So would I repurchase that? Um... Yeah, I think I would do actually. I think if I got given it again, I'd be really happy with it, but I have others. So I think if I had this little travel one again, I definitely would enjoy it. And finally is this, I'm really sad to see this go. It's the Illegal Definition Mascara by Maybelline. I bought this in B&M for a pound and I know that they still sell it. Um, and it's a lovely brush. I'll just show you there. You can sort of see the green coming through. That's how um, finished it is. It's a lovely slim brush. It's yeah, it's like triangular, I don't know if you can see. Um, similar to some of my other ones, it's got um, thingy bristles, plastic bristles, and it really does lengthen and define. I really love this, um, and I would definitely repurchase it if I could find it in a pound shop again. I don't know if I love it as much as some of the others that are, fe are featured in favourites, but I do like this one. So that is all my empties. Thank you so much for watching. I've got some videos to delete now, otherwise I will over <laughs> overrun. But um, yeah, let me know what empties you've had, if you've had any of the products that I have, or if you might buy some of the products that I have based on what is empty in my review. Let me know down below in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see some more of my videos. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my new, uh, my new one, my next one. <laughs> Thank you very much.